All right, welcome to our next video. We are going to look at how to turn on motors and set them up. So I've already opened up a new file. I'm gonna to go to motor and sensor setup like we've been doing before. And you'll see now I'm in the motors tab. Again, like in LEDs, we are in digital sensors. Um, buttons are in digital sensors. Uh, analog has, has different sensors, but right now we're in motors, okay? And I'm gonna use ports um, one and two. For here, you might want to do two and three if you have H bridges. Um, we'll talk about that in class a little bit, but let's just use ports one and two. And I'll call this right. And I'll call this left. Right motor, left motor. Okay. Which motor to choose? In our class, we have VEX 393 motors. Not high speed, not turbo, 393. Just regular old 393. All right. I'll click apply. Again, you'll see those pragma statements pop up and you'll notice this is pretty similar. But instead of calling a sensor value, I'm just going to call a motor. I'll call right motor in square brackets. You'll see it's already turned red. You'll see motor, I use all lowercase and I will say equals. Now I don't use one like we would do in a digital sensor because digital only has on and off. A motor has different speeds that it can be adjusted to. The top speed is 127. So I will make this go full speed, 127. I will then put a weight, 1m sec. And I'll put that in, excuse me, as again, 1000, semicolon, close that off. And then I will turn off the motor. And we will call that one instead of 127 is full speed, zero is no speed. So now we're just coding right wheel goes to 127, wait for one second, right wheel goes to zero, right motor, excuse me. I'll compile it and save it, motor test, save, oops, uh, oops sorry, motor test, sorry, save. And now we can download this to our robot and our right motor will run for one second at full speed and turn off. Of course, with this now, you can run left motors, you can change speeds, um, you can do a lot of things with this. One last tip. If I change this to negative 127, my motor will go backwards. Um, so you can make it go backwards at different speeds. Just one more tip for you guys to work with. We'll see you next time.